All right, everybody. Thank you again for joining us this week on our Talking Real Estate segment with the Champions Real Estate team at Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Ambassador Real Estate Company. My name's Mark Weiner, team leader here at Champions Real Estate team. Joining me on our call today is uh, Russ Williams, the loan originator. Um, he's kind of a jack of all trades in the mortgage industry, kind of knows a lot about it. Um, he also teaches for Results Coaching School of Real Estate, the financing class. So he's got a wealth of knowledge, you know, from that aspect of it. So when you're looking in the mortgage side, you know, what products are going to be best for you, he knows them all and can, you know, get the right fit for you. So uh, we'll jump right into it. What we normally do is kind of just talk about what's gone on the market over the last week. You know, markets don't change drastically over a week, but we can kind of keep an idea of what's going on. Um, so share here our screen with the uh, uh, market update here. So what's gone on the last week? We've had 310 new listings come on. Um, last week, we had about 280 uh, new contracts. So the activity in the marketplace is up, up to 261. Um, up from last week, just you know, about 30 new contracts. And uh, sold homes are pretty similar, um, about that 315 mark. So you know, as we're kind of coming in, you know, going out of January here, we're seeing you know, pretty, pretty normal numbers as we go through. Um, looking at the big picture of it, um, we're sitting at about 1,595 active listings in the Omaha Lincoln MLS. So that's like the big picture, 30,000 foot view. When you break that down in the Omaha metro area, Douglas and Sarpy County, we're sitting at 819 listings. Um, you know, so that's not very many as far as what's out there actively on the market. Um, you know, it's breaking that down even further as we do. You know, we have the existing market um, is at 417 listings. So. That's just your, you know, not new construction, new construction, or, you know, obviously subtract that from the 419 or 402. So uh, just over 400 new constructions, that's your spec homes, model homes, ones that are, you know, being built right now um, through that aspect of it. So looking at that number, you know, I mean, give me some perspective. When I got my license in 2008, we had 6,000 homes roughly, I think it was at our peak in that 2008 timeframe. So, you know, 1500 homes is a drastic amount less um, but we are still seeing activity, you know, the, the number of contracts written and things of that sort. So, you know, last year we were up 14% um, pending contracts. So basic contracts written. So what that means is, you know, even though we're still very low in inventory, we're still having more contracts written year over year for the simple fact of, you know, there's a lot of homes that necessarily may not come actively on the market. Um, they may be just, you know, um, you know, kind of matchmaker between agents and their clients of the, what they know. You know, like myself, I've walked neighborhoods that my clients want to be in and just knock on the door and say, hey, you interested in selling your house? Well, yeah, we are, but we don't know where we're going to go. Well, great. I have a client that maybe they can wait. Maybe they're in an apartment, you know, and we can find you another house. And so that house really never goes on the market. So that's why people are like, well, how can you have more contracts written last year than this year when you have less inventory? Well, that's how it happens. Um, so that's something that here at Champions Real Estate Team, we really go out there and find that house for you you know, if you have a specific area or a want and a need that you need to find, you know, we go out there and kind of hit the groundwork. We don't just pull up MLS, look it up and say, oh gosh, you know, no one went out there and found you a house. So that's something that we do here. So I'm um, kind of thinking what else, you know, um, yeah, so we're, we're pretty active. You know, if you're thinking about this is that time of year where everyone's getting ready to get their house ready for the spring market, um, you know, I would get it on as soon as you can. You know, as I just said, the, the inventory is low. You know, you're capitalizing on that aspect of it when there's a good solid pool of buyers out there ready to ready willing and able to buy your house you may get more for it now you know than then in the spring potentially just because there's more competition you know and on the buyer side you know there's not as much buyer competition right now because everyone's waiting for the weather to get nicer you know i think it's supposed to be 50 degrees today which is a great day to go out and look at houses but that's some of those things to take into account um through that process so um yeah give us a holler if you have any questions uh, getting your house listed. We are doing on Jan or on February 4th um, at 8 p.m. on our Facebook, uh, Champions Real Estate Team Facebook page, we're doing a, a live buyer seminar. Obviously, that'll be on there as well that you can, that you can watch later. Um, so that's a Thursday, kind of, the, you know, after bedtime, maybe kids get to bed, you can kind of jump on for, you know, probably be about 30 minutes. Um, I have it, you know, booked eight to, eight to nine, but it depends on how many questions and stuff, but we're happy to stay on there as long as we need to, to get everyone's questions answered. So, um, let's jump in with Russ here um, and kind of see what's going on in the mortgage industry. I, you know, I just watched the inauguration um, right before I jumped on here. Um, so we got a new president now. So it's 12 o'clock. So he's been, been president for about an hour or so. So 
don't know what, what that's all going to entail, but um, anyways, Russ, how are things going with you? You know, they're going really well. Mortgage rates are still holding very strong. They are up just a little bit from the all-time lows, but folks, they are still sitting very close to the bottom. And think about this like buying a stock. You want to buy it when it's at the bottom and your, your borrowing power is as strong now as it's ever been. So I highly encourage you to take a look. Having said that, uh, for, for top tier credit, we're typically seeing your long-term uh, fixed rates uh, under 3%. Uh, if you're looking for shorter term fixed rates, they uh, might even be under 2.5%. So those are still very strong rates. Uh, we're watching also a little bit, of course, uh, Mark, you mentioned the inauguration uh, just was completed. And so we'll start to see a transition of, uh, of, of government. Uh, and, and what that basically means is there have already, already been some folks that have been appointed and are going through the uh, confirmation process for some of the financial positions that, that may have some, some say, if you will, in, uh, in what direction we see housing take. Uh, we've talked about this on prior calls, Mark, that the, the new administration would like to see uh, some increases uh, in uh, subsidies and uh, those sorts of things to try to encourage homeownership. Uh, right now, of course, we're sitting roughly 65% homeownership, and with rates this low, there's no reason why we couldn't move that a little bit higher. So um, we'll probably see things move fairly quickly over the next couple of months here. Uh, most analysts are thinking that mortgage rates will start to rise uh, as we start to have a new direction with the, with the new administration. Um, but for the time being, we're still seeing the Federal Reserve Bank pumping lots of money into mortgage bonds to try to keep rates low. And so if you haven't uh, taken advantage of refinancing, your window is likely getting a little bit shorter. So you want to jump on that. And for the, those of you that are thinking of, of buying in the spring, uh, I'd encourage you to get a hold of Champions Real Estate Team now and get started on that process in the event that you're planning on using finance money because it's not going to get any cheaper. Yeah, I think that's the thing too, is that, you know, as, as we do with all of our clients is sit down with them you know, and go over what's the best option. You know, sometimes we have clients that it's like, hey, we want to buy a house this year. Well, when we sit down, go over numbers, you sit down with Russ, you sit down with us, maybe it's not in the cards, but that's one of those things that we want to make sure that you are prepared, you know, to, to be the strongest buyer possible going into that situation. And I think that stuff we'll talk about on February 4th, Thursday at six o'clock on or at eight o'clock on our uh, Champions Real Estate Team Facebook page, as well as Zoom. So you can jump on there. Obviously, we'll have somebody monitoring comments and things like that if you have questions. Um, but yeah, I think our, uh, you know, the, the way the market's going, like you said, money's not really going to get any cheaper. You know, it's, there's only one way to go up from here is, is up um, in that aspect of it. And obviously no one has a crystal ball um, and prices, you know, like I know you've given that example of if, if house, you know, appreciations go up four to 5%, interest rates go up 1%, you know, you're losing about 16% of your purchasing power. You know, you and that's are. just something that you're looking at too, that, you know, or can you refinance and, and jump into that investment market? I know we've talked about that you know, refinance, pull some cash out, you know, and then you can go, you know, capitalize on those low, those low mortgage rates, um, you know, to start building that investment portfolio for you and build that passive income. Because as we saw in the pandemic, you know, you know, if you, if you get furloughed or things like that, unfortunate that if you have maybe, you know, a, another source of income coming in that can maybe help offset some of those, those things. So I think that's just something that, like we touched on, you know, I've talked to clients last month, you know, about that. They're like, well, we want to maybe sell our house in a year or two. Well, I'm like, if you can keep it, you know, and rent it. And, you know, if you, if you don't want to go through those, you know, being the landlord and the manager of it, hire a property manager. You can at least still build that equity and that, you know, your cash flow might not be as much, but you're still, you know, putting a little bit of money in your pocket while building that net wealth. So. But, Mark, you uh, make a great point there. If you don't mind me dovetailing on that for just a moment, uh, uh, diversification of your retirement, your investments, that, that's something you really should consider, folks. Um, there was a term back uh, a few centuries ago, buy when there's blood in the streets, and that was actually started with Baron von Rothschild when uh, he was, at, at that time, the equivalent of a, like a Warren Buffett would be today. And when when uh, he made moves uh, with his finances, people followed suit. You may remember about a decade or a little more than that ago, uh, Warren Buffett bought a lot of silver, and a lot of folks bought silver, and prices rose. Well, it was just uh, announced in the last two weeks that Bill Gates is now the largest landowner in the country. He's been buying lots of land. So folks, land is a good investment. Yeah. And there's one thing they're not making more of. So that's right. But um, yeah. So Jeff, how things, Jeff jumped on with us a little bit later. So touch base with him, see how, how things are going out in the uh, real estate world for him and what's he, what's he seeing. It, it's not the same. Sorry, I was late. Technical, <laughs> technical difficulties getting on today. Um, but no, I mean, things are still crazy out there, guys. And uh, so give us a call. Let us know. Uh, I know I touched on it last week, too, but um, inventory is really low. I'm sure Mark highlighted it. And because of it, um, you know, 
in the buying side, it's more important now and has been for a while, but still important just to have an action plan, have it in place and talk to an agent about, you know, what can I feasibly do? What's the market doing? Um, because right now more than, more than ever, a strategy is needed to help secure a home. And so talk to us, get, you know, ducks in order so that we can be successful when we go out and start looking at houses. Um, yeah. is my big ticket there. And on the, on the, uh, on the selling side, guys, uh, inventory is so low. So if there was ever a time that you had contemplated or thought about selling a house now, now is the time. I mean, there is very, very low inventory, historic low inventories in Omaha right now. And, um, we're getting reports from maybe you hit on it. Sorry, I'm doubling up yeah. on some, but reports from, uh, Vince at Berkshire, and things like that, just showing us how crazy low our inventory is right now. And so if, if, if you wanted to buy a house and, and, and uh, have it move, <laughs> if it's priced right, now's the time. So let's go. Yeah. And like you said, just kind of one of the touch things that touch on is it, you know, when I was coaching the hockey team, it's one of those things, do you want to compete in the competition or do you just want to participate? You know, there's two, two different things. When I tell my hockey players, you can go in and battle for the puck in the corners and compete in the competition or you can just skate around and act like your hockey player. It's the same thing in the real estate world, you know, from a buying side, like Jeff said, get, get prepared on what you need to do to compete because yeah, you can go talk to a lender and you can talk to an agent, you can go write a bunch of contracts, but how can we get you to be competitive in the marketplace to get a house? And that's stuff that we walk, walk through with you um, and go after that. And we kind of touch on that too. And on February 4th, um, that Thursday, at eight o'clock on our Facebook uh, champion scene page. So but um, I'll jump on. I'll show you the other thing you can do. Jump on our um, Champions Real Estate Team dot um, com website. Basically, you can pull up all the searches of all the homes that are out there in the metro area. You can do the map searches. You can do home valuation, which you get a pretty good estimate of what your house is at. But if you want a more in depth analysis, give one of us here a call um, at Champions Real Estate Team to go over that. We also have our home buyer guide and our home seller guide. Those are some good tools for you to kind of look through. Um, to start getting that game plan together and then get get with one of us here at Champions Real Estate Team and we can finalize that game plan for you. Um, we also have on our event page is you can link to our Champions Real Estate Team Facebook page as it's here, um, as well as our Zoom link for that February 4th um, event. So yeah, so some good houses that just came on the market here. If you're looking for investment properties in that Exarban area, you know, 175 for the house in Poppleton. So yeah, take a look. Um, as always, we're here to help. Give us a holler if you have any questions. Uh, I want to thank Russ uh, for joining us today. Um, and then Jeff jumping on and kind of giving us a ground view of what's going on in the marketplace out there. So as always, my name is Mark Wayner II with Champions Real Estate Team. Um, Jeff Peterson with uh, Champions Real Estate Team and Russ Williams. So thank you gentlemen for joining us and um, we will see everybody next week. And uh, have a great week and have a great weekend and enjoy the weather out there. So take care. Bye-bye.